Yeah, a couple treats out there in the night sky. If you're ready to brave those cold temperatures out there, we'll be looking at the possibility for a comet out there on weather backup. That system out there going to be in view for the next uh, several days or so, but it's been Oh, but as far as what we can look forward tonight, look out toward the west. It's going to be about medium height above the horizon about 30 to 45 minutes after sunset. That's going to be the best time to take in this comet. It's going to be visible through the end of the month, but as we get later and later into October, it's going to become a little bit dimmer and dimmer each day. As far as visibility tonight from the sky cover, looking pretty good. We're looking at pretty green conditions out there, about 740. This should be peak viewing. A few of those clouds may work their way in, but as we head into the evening, cloud cover to the west should be decreasing with most of the cloud cover off to the east. It's not the only thing to take in though. We have the super moon as well. Hunter's moon biggest and brightest of 2024. This does peak Thursday, but you should be able to get a pretty good view of it tonight as well. We do have a few passing clouds that work their way through, but as we head toward tomorrow, moonrise in the evening by about midnight, nice and dark. We're looking very beautiful all across the region. Clear skies, good viewing for that super moon as we head through well part of tonight and certainly for tomorrow guys.